Hello everyone, this is Matt from Real World Review, and today I will be unboxing the Essential phone. So I ordered this phone on Amazon, and it only took about two days to get here, because I have Amazon Prime, and here we are. So let's open this up, and see what we got. Okay, so here is the box. Obviously, it's brand new and sealed. This was shipped from Essential, but it was processed through Amazon. Okay, so on the front of the box, you have the design of the phone, which is pretty cool. It kind of shows how everything is. And then on the side, you have the little Essential logo. And on the right side, it says Essential phone, and then it says Halo Gray, which is the color that I picked. So let's get this open, and uh, we'll kind of go over everything else later on. Okay, so now that we have the plastic wrap off, there's a little pull tab on the back. And now we can open up the box. Immediately I can tell they spent a decent amount of time on this packaging. It's actually pretty nice. Okay, so everything's up front, so let's check out what we got. We got a braided USB-C to USB-C plug. That's pretty cool. This looks like a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter jack. And we have a power block. It looks like it's 27 watts, which is pretty big. Then this little thing right here has the, uh, it's interesting they made the logo out of it, but it has a SIM card tray and, and here's a little pamphlet with the uh, warranty information, stuff that no one's probably going to ever read, but either way, let's make this look all nice again. Yeah, the SIM card ejector is pretty cool. Okay, so now let's put everything back in the box because honestly I'm not going to use anything that's really in here. And uh, then we can get onto the phone. Okay, so here's the phone. It's kind of hard to see, but obviously there's a notch in the screen. Um, the side looks nice. I like the, the titanium feel. And the back kind of looks shiny right now. Yeah, the, I like I like the sides. They're, they seem like they are a little bit fingerprint magnety, but either way. Okay, so the back is definitely a matte finish, which looks really nice. I don't know why that's an awesome sound. Yeah, so the back actually feels really nice. It's kind of weird that they kept the fingerprint scanner glossy. I, it's kind of odd. You can see like in the, the shine and everything. Doesn't feel like it's too much of a fingerprint magnet, which is pretty good. All right, so let's get this powered on. See what we're dealing with. Nice little animation logo. So the earpiece is at the top right here, and then there's like a little cutout for the camera. It's kind of interesting. And there's a USB-C plug at the bottom, a speaker grill, a SIM card tray, and a microphone. No headset jack though. Okay, so I'm just gonna skip through this. I'll set it up later. I didn't really do anything special right here. And here's the phone. So it looks like they sent me this phone on Android 7.1.1. They probably ship them all with Android 7.1.1, and then the customer has the option to update it, which is most likely what's going to happen with this phone. So let's put the SIM card in real quickly. Note that this phone doesn't come with a memory card, it just has a SIM card tray. That's because this phone has 128 gigabytes built in, which is pretty nice, especially since it's standard. It's not like a, a special edition or anything like that. Okay, yeah, there is the update. So Android Pie is the update that we'll be getting. Um, that's pretty cool. I, I kind of knew that I was going to get that because it came out a couple days before this video was recorded, but it's pretty nice. So I'm just going to reset this because I want to set up all my stuff on there and like install all my apps and you know transfer all my information over. So let's put this back in the box and I don't know. Maybe we'll uh, have a review in a couple days. We'll see. But yeah, that's it. That was the essential phone. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section or on Twitter at Matt of RWR. And feel free to follow me on the social media listed above. Also, subscribe to my channel so you can see the review videos when they do come out for this phone, which should be in about a couple weeks. Also, make sure to hit that bell button so then YouTube reminds you of those videos. Thanks for watching.